Good morning. This is your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Seeing some mostly sunny, partly cloudy conditions out there with mainly high clouds around. We do have another hot, humid day ahead of us today. We do have that heat advisory in effect from 10 to 1600 local today. So, seeing those heat index values once again get up into the triple digits. Temperature right now in the mid 80s with those heat index values start to climb into the upper 90s with a light wind out of the south to southeast. Take a look at the current surface analysis. High pressure still mainly in control over the area. We do have that front off to the west that will continue to approach the area, being supported by an upper level trough digging into the into the Great Lakes and towards the east. We're going to see that front make a very slow approach as we go over the next 24 to 48 hours, and it'll stall out over the region, mainly just west of the region. And that will help keep most of the activity to disturb weather off to the west, but I uh, can't rule out chance of a few showers or storms, mainly as we go into Friday evening and into the weekend. If we look at the upper level winds from this morning's sounding, we have some southwesterly winds near the surface becoming more uh, south southwesterly as we go up through the column and then becoming southwesterly once again as we get in the upper levels. Uh, not very strong wind, seeing our peak wind at 21 knots at 25,000 feet, and that freezing level at 13,500 feet. If we look at the current visible satellite, we can see mainly just high clouds over the area. A few lower clouds uh, further south at the southern tip of Delmarva, but overall just see some high clouds uh, at the moment. We'll likely see some lower level cumulus start to develop as we get into the afternoon hours, but we see those temperatures climbing into the mid-80s already over the region. If you look at the short-term models, see how things play out today. Again, expecting a dry day today with hot and humid conditions, and as we go into the evening hours, we'll see uh, lots of activity firing off to the west. Not looking likely any of that makes it across the bay as based on the timing of uh, those showers and storms pushing a little further east. It'll be well past sunset and likely losing their energy as you can see the model indicating here so things mainly dry as we go through the overnight very slight chance of seeing a shower or possibly a thunderstorm in the vicinity but nothing looking to directly impact the facility here and as we go through today go into our day on friday we'll likely see some patchy fog or mist around once again before sunrise and then another hot and humid day for friday likely see those heat index values slightly below what we see today, so maybe at or just below uh, 100 degrees for Friday, but uh, we'll see a chance of a afternoon pop-up shower or storm, but the better chance looks to be later in the evening. Once again, storms potentially arriving uh, through the overnight hours, but won't have that daytime support or that uh, solar heating support to keep them going. So. This model here indicating uh, those fizzling out fairly quickly. Other models showing a little more bullish on the uh, thunderstorm activity moving through the area. And then as we go into Saturday, we'll likely see another similar picture. If we zoom out here and look at the European model, starting Saturday morning, again, as we go into the afternoon, had that chance of an afternoon shower or storm, and then a slightly better chance of seeing uh, some showers and storms pushing through late in the overnight hours as that front continues to stall over the area. We start to see some weakening in the front and the weakening in the upper level trough as we go into Sunday, but still keeping enough support there for an afternoon shower storm and also as well as into the evening and then a gradual weakening on Monday, slightly lower chance of mainly an afternoon shower storm and then a very slight chance as we go into Tuesday. A little too far out to narrow that down, but uh, that chance, very slight chance, will be there uh, for mainly just the afternoon hours. Now, as we go into the middle of the week, reasonable agreement between some of the models uh, showing another boundary pushing into the area for the middle of the week, bringing chances of rain showers. Uh, expect probably the timing will shift a little bit on this as it usually does this far out, but uh, I look right now it looks like a chance of some showers moving through. Uh, during the day on Wednesday and into the overnight hours as well. Then we start to see uh, potentially Hurricane Lee uh, showing up off to, well to the southeast uh, at this time, not expecting any significant impacts, but still uh, quite a ways away. 
we look at the 24-hour weather risk chart for today, we do have that orange risk for those heat index values above 100 degrees. We do have that heat advisory in effect, as mentioned. Uh, likely see those heat index values peak around 103 this afternoon with the actual temperature peaking around 91 degrees. We'll see those winds out of the south uh, picking up 5 to 10 knots, gusting up to 15 knots, and then coming more south, southeasterly, and slightly breezy as we get to the later part of the afternoon. 8 to 13 knots, gusting up to 18 knots. That holds on as we go into the first part of the evening. We'll likely see some increased clouds in the area as we go through the overnight with those showers and storms firing off to the west. But otherwise, that very slight chance of a shower storm making it into our vicinity, uh, but not expecting any real impacts here at the facility as mentioned, but um, going into the morning hours on Friday, we'll see our low around 75 degrees with a light wind out of the south, and we'll have that chance of some mist or fog in the area before sunrise once again, like we saw this morning. So we do have that yellow risk for reduced ceilings and visibilities. Otherwise, sea and tides one half to one foot above normal. And as we go into Friday, again, much of the same, partly mostly cloudy at times, hot and humid. A uh, slight chance of afternoon shower or storm, but the better chance will be later on in the late afternoon and into the evening hours. So we do have that yellow risk for precip and lightning. Slightly breezy overall with a high around 88 degrees. And again, those heat index values likely just shy or maybe just touching uh, 100 degrees for the afternoon hours. Going into Friday evening, partly the most cloudy. Had that slight chance of shower storm mainly early on. And then we'll have a chance once again of some mist before sunrise with a low around 73, seeing yellow chance for precip and lightning once again. That continues into Saturday as well with partly to mostly cloudy conditions. Chance of that afternoon or evening shower or storm. Uh, a little less coverage than what we saw uh, in the previous days, so uh, likely a more isolated shower or storm event, and then possibly later on in the evening that, that better chance uh, moves in. But uh, another slightly breezy day for Saturday with a high of 85. As we go into Sunday, once again, we keep about a 40% chance of a few showers or storms around as they go through the day. A uh, cooler day with a high around 83. That's a little closer to the average temperature expected uh, this time of year. Down to a low of 70 as we go into Sunday evening. And then just a slight chance of afternoon shower or storm on Monday continues with a high around 84. Uh, with just mainly partly cloudy conditions. Partly cloudy conditions continue into Tuesday with a high of 84 once again. Uh, Slightly less chance of an afternoon shower storm on Tuesday and seeing that low start to get down into the upper 60s as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday and a Wednesday another high of 83 with that better chance of showers and storms possibly showing up uh, with another boundary pushing into the area giving it about a 30% chance at this time as it's still uh, seven days out ahead. Well, that wrap up the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow at 8.15 and 10 a.m. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.